Hi, welcome to Wishing Well Barbecue. I'm Dustin Wells. And I'm Guy House. And today we're going to cook. My goodness. Bacon wrapped Oreos. You know what time it is. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Alright, so here we are today. We're doing some extra filming and I thought now would be a great time to do an awesome experiment. Hey, Guy, welcome to the Wishing Well Barbecue Show. Uh, I'm glad to be here today. Hey, we're going to do something that has become really huge on all of the barbecue forums, on all of Instagram, and I just have to try this. So we're going to do a little experiment today and it's bacon wrapped Oreos. I know that sounds kind of weird, don't, don't you think that kind of sounds weird? I, I, don't, I don't know what we got in store for us today, but I love bacon and I love Oreos. We're going to try to see if we can make this work and see if it, it, it's actually worth cooking. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to prepare these today. I've tried to do a bunch of research on how to make these bacon wrapped Oreos and I think we're just going to go simple today. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this bacon, we're just going to cut it right in half. That way we can wrap it around these Oreos. I'm gonna set this aside. And now for the best part. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, I, I had to taste Oreos. test the Oreos earlier, Dustin. They're well, good. Oreo, yeah. yeah. High you quality. Got, you had to make sure those Oreos were good. I mean, you can't go wrong. Oh, there you go. He's good. Oh, he's, there he goes. He's gonna take one. All right, hey, that's okay. Let's talk about how we're gonna get these ready. So let's get a piece of bacon here. We're just gonna set it right there. Let's put the Oreo on top of it. Now let's fold it over. Nice. Let's get another piece here. Let's go the opposite way. If I can figure out how to do that. Hey, look at that. It's an Oreo. Wrapped in bacon. Wrapped in bacon. Can't go wrong. Let's get some more of these down here. Guy, you want to do the honors? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give one a try. Get one of those on there. And, and by no means am I a pro, but I would certainly recommend the double stuff. I mean, I think you're crazy if you go regular stuff anyway, but you got to get the double stuff. Yeah, we got we to gotta see how that's going to work for us. All right, let's get all of these wrapped up, and then we're going to come back to you and show you what we're going to do for our next step. Look at this, guy! It's magic. They're all done. Wow, that was way quicker than I thought it would be. Yeah, that was incredible. Hey, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some brown sugar all over this bacon. Let that bacon caramelize. Let's get some brown sugar on there, guys. Let's do it. We're just going to put... Let me show you. Let me show you what we're going to do. We're just going to get it, and we're going to dab it all around this bacon. Get it all over. Just kind of push it in. It's going to give that bacon a nice sweet flavor. I think that'll be good, don't you? It looks good to me. It looks pretty good. All right, let's get the rest of these done up here. Guy, quit being lazy. Take a, take well, some brown sugar. You know, I don't want to reach over here or nothing. Let's get some brown sugar on these. Oh yeah. Don't be shy now. Just put some more. Keep dabbing that bacon, that brown sugar. Are you ready to do this in fast motion? Yeah. All right, ready, go. Time. Hey, that was good. That was really quick, wasn't it, guy? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little tired after going that quick. I know. Hey, all we gotta do now is we're just gonna put them on a cooking rack. We're gonna put them on the smoker, probably around 250, 275 degrees, and let them cook until the bacon is done. All right, let's put it on the smoker. Set it right here. Boom, it's done. We're gonna close it down and let it keep cooking. All right, we've had these bacon wrapped Oreos on for about an hour. Let's check them out. Close, guy. Oh man. Man, those look awesome. This one kind of busted on us, but hey, you know what? That's okay. There's one more thing that we want to do to just finish these Oreos off. We're 
we're gonna put some honey on it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. We're just gonna dab a little bit of honey and leave them on for about five minutes. Let's put some of this on there. Right over the top. Just a nice little honey glaze, just to finish them off. God, I don't know about you, but they're already looking and smelling really good. They look wonderful. And this honey glaze is gonna be awesome on there. You know, this, they, they look way better than I imagined. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be super good, I think. Let's go ahead and put this honey drizzle on there. Just long enough to let it get hot, melt, glaze on these bacon wrapped Oreos. You can see that bacon sizzling a little bit. Yeah, it looks good. That's gonna be awesome. Woo, hand is hot in here. All right, I think we got them on. Let's leave them on for five minutes and then we're gonna bring them over to the cutting board. All right, we've got these bacon wrapped Oreos over here on the cutting board, and let me tell you something. The smell, God, oh, how do they smell? It smells every bit of a deep fried Oreo. I know a lot of people are familiar with that scent. It's very strong. It's oh, it's wonderful. It smells so good, and it looks fantastic. I mean, the presentation on some of these is so great, and I'm really ready to dig into one of these. But before we do, let's just review what we did to get to this point. So we got some double stuffed Oreos, we wrapped them in bacon, we got the bacon and we cut it in half and we double wrapped these. All we did was cover them in some brown sugar, we put them right on the smoker and let them sit at about 250 or 275 degrees for about an hour, just long enough to get that bacon done. And now here we are with them on the cutting board. Wait, there's one step we forgot about. We forgot to tell them about the honey. We put the honey on at the end. At the very, very end, we put some honey on, and oh man, let me tell you, this is gonna be good. I gotta get one of these. Look, look at how shiny and pretty that honey made it. That nice little glaze on it, that's a good little finish. Oh yeah, it is. You know what, put that down here. Cut that one. I'm good. ready to get this. Now these are soft. I'm actually really surprised at how soft they are, but let's cut one and just open it up and take a look. That really does look like a deep fried Oreo, doesn't it? It really does. Except instead of batter, we've got bacon. I mean, and hey, that looks really good. You can see that some of that's, uh, that cream is rendered yeah, down a little bit. Definitely, you can see the layers. That's really pretty. Oh man, well here, you gotta have this. And it's time. I gotta have a bite of this. Let's do it. Cheers, it was a good cook. My goodness. That is amazing wow that's so good i really never thought that that would be as good as it is just because you think bacon is good by itself oreos are good by themselves but oreos wrapped in bacon the brown sugar caramelized on that bacon the honey it's so good that is so good i'm so i'm serious like i didn't think that it no. would be that good. When he told me that he had this idea for this video, to say I was skeptical would be a bit of an understatement. I was like, really putting those two together? That doesn't really seem like it would fit, but let me tell you, it, it's worth a try. It's so good. You have got to try this recipe. It is so good. It makes a perfect little treat to take. And it's really going to wow your guests, especially if you take it to some kind of party or really just to any family gathering. It's going to be a, it's going to be something. I'll tell you that. Thank you so much for watching our video today. We would love to have you join our Wishing Well Barbecue family. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on any of the fun. Make sure you also follow us on all of our other socials, Facebook, Instagram, and now TikTok, so that you don't miss out on anything that we've got going. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll see, we'll see you, you next time. time.